Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our affordable Zotac GeForce 9800 GT Synergy Edition. Inside the box you'll find the Zotac GeForce 9800 GT Synergy Edition with dual dual link DVI and TV outputs, a single SLI connector for two-way SLI compatibility, a PCI Express power connector which is required, Bundled with the card is a DVI to VGA adapter and a dual Molex to single 6 pin PCI Express power adapter. To demonstrate the performance of the card, we'll be installing it in our mainstream system featuring a Zotac GeForce 8300 motherboard, AMD Phenom X4 9550 processor, 2 gigs of Patriot DDR2 memory, and a Western Digital Caviar hard drive. Zotac recommends a minimum 400 watt power supply for single card operation and 700 watt power supply for SLI operation with the GeForce 9800 GT Synergy Edition. The card does require the PCI Express power connector to be connected or the system will not post. Zotac GeForce 9800 GT Synergy Edition offers 112 stream processors and 512 megs of GDDR3 memory for high performance in the latest DirectX 10 and OpenGL 2.1 games. We'll be using the game's Crisis and Grid to demonstrate the performance of the card. In a demanding game such as Crisis, you can expect around 32 frames per second at a resolution of 1680 by 1050 using medium quality settings and no anti-aliasing enabled. In a game such as Grid, you can expect around 59 frames per second with a resolution of 1680 by 1050 with high quality settings and 2 times anti-aliasing. And that concludes this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.